78. Using Lewis structures, write balanced equations for the following reactions. And then we have this reaction right here. So we have HCl gas plus pH3 gas, and we have to write a balanced equation. What are the products? Well, let's write the Lewis structures. Now, drawing the Lewis structures is going to be a review. We spent a whole chapter on how to draw Lewis structures, which I believe is like chapter seven. So just go back uh, to the channel and find that chapter if you need a more overview on how to draw Lewis structures. But for reference, I put down how many balanced electrons each element needs in this example. So for HCl, I don't care that it's a gas. I'm only going to be focusing on the actual compounds. So HCl, I have one hydrogen and one chlorine. And I put the valence electrons. Hydrogen has one valence and chlorine has seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they have to form at least a single bond. And for hydrogen, it's only a single bond. So this is good. The chlorine has the octet. So I have this plus pH3. Phosphorus in the middle, surrounded by three hydrogen. Remember, hydrogen can never be in the middle. So P in the middle, surrounded by one, two, three. So once again, each hydrogen has one electron and phosphorus has five valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five. We single bond it up, and hydrogen only wants to have the one bond. So once we do this, phosphorus has the octet, so we're good to go. Now we just have to find out, well, what's going to happen? Well, even though these are in the gas phases, just look at the compounds, right? HCl, if we don't you know, care about that it's a gas, and if, it, we, and if we were treating this as an aqueous, right, HCl, I have an H in the front, so that means that it has to be an acid, but HCl is part of your strong acids. So if you have an acid in your reaction, that means that the other one has to react as a base. So we're going back to like acid-base reactions. What happens with the acid and what happens to the base. Remember, the acid always donates the hydrogen. So this hydrogen is going to leave the HCl per se. Basically, it's gonna leave the chlorine and go, hey, I wanna go over here, right? So that the base can accept the hydrogen. And the base can accept the hydrogen because the base always has a lone pair of electrons. So these, uh, these electrons don't go with the hydrogen. The hydrogen with no electrons always gets transferred because the base always has those electrons to receive it. So if we had to draw what was going to happen, it always starts at the electrons. So the base electrons, if we consider this as a Lewis base, Right, the Lewis base is always going to be donating that uh, electron pair. We don't really have to classify it as a Lewis base, but what's going to happen is these electrons from the phosphorus are going to grab the hydrogen. And because they're going to grab the hydrogen, this bond has to break. And we always show how it breaks by drawing an arrow. And the arrow goes back to the always the more electronegative element. So in this case, what's going to happen to the chlorine? Well, the chlorine is still going to have those six electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now these two electrons, they are not a bond anymore. They were now just lone pairs. And if I do show... It is the one from the hydrogen and the one from the chlorine. You see how it was like a blue and a red? But it doesn't matter. It's still eight electrons. And chlorine, just by itself, if we did the formal charge, this would be a negative. And it kind of makes sense, right? If you remove a hydrogen, you always minus one. So Cl minus. And then on the flip side, you have this. So I'm just going to copy it, and maybe if I can, because we're running on a little bit of room here, I'm just going to push this over. 
And now what's going to happen? Well, this phosphorus gained this one hydrogen. And these electrons are going to turn into the bond. So now I'm going to have a bond and the hydrogen. And since this gained the hydrogen, this becomes plus one charge. And who actually has the, the plus charge on here? If we did the formal charges, it actually is the phosphorus. Whoop. But you could put the, the, the positive directly on the phosphorus, or you could bracket these and put the positive, you know, at the end. It really doesn't matter. But that is the answer. So what would be the balanced equation? This would make Cl minus plus pH4 plus. And that is your final answer. And then the Lewis structures are on the bottom as follows. But that's it. Okay. So what'd you think? Pretty fun. No math involved. I like that. So I hope you guys are studying hard, having a great day out there. Let's keep working hard, and I will see you in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.